All right, kids. I don't know what I'm going to do to help uh, a poisoned kid. Like, I don't have anything to help with that. But we'll see. Oh, man, it's really pretty in here. All right, let's not waste any time. Snout. Look. See everyone? The doctor's here. Who's sick? You're too late. They died. Why didn't you come sooner? What kind of doctor are you? I came... Wait. I came super, super quick. I don't think I... I almost couldn't have come any sooner, right? I went straight from Rubens. Straight here. I snuck a little bit. Stopped for some meat, but that was it during a conversation, so I don't think any time passed. I, I got here really quickly. Three kids are dead and no one gives a damn? Not kids. Worse. Those were our dogs. Alma, Wolfling, and Duke. Who poisoned them? Somebody evil. Notkin's planning on holding a trial. He wanted you to be there, too. Well, at least I made it in time for the trial. Not all is lost. Look at that patchwork little shirt they've got. It's really cool. Snout. The traitor Lika saw you this morning, by the way. How you got off the train and beat those thugs to a pulp. Huh. So I have a living, breathing witness. Not for long. He's doomed. Yeah? How come? He killed Duke, Wolfling, and Alma. Nakin will punish him for that. They're the one who poisoned them? Don't you need to make sure he's the real culprit first? I'm speaking from experience here. Hide and seek, <clears throat> tag, hopscotch. Or we might as well play Ring Around the Rosies. Am I hearing a cat? It's the second time I've heard something that sounds like a meow. Anyway, this is not Ken. I think they're... That's definitely a cat. I think Notkin's like the leader. You're here. Good. The trial can begin. Go on. A question first. They say you're no son to old Barak. He was a doctor. He saved lives. It's said that you kill instead. Is that true? I am a Barak, have no doubt. Answer the question, please. Are you a murderer or no? Killing is not necessarily murder. Calm down, no need to get defensive. Or are you uncomfortable doing this in front of my soul and a halves? Hmm, I'm gonna push back a bit. Don't calm down me, boy. You wanna put me on trial? Go on, then. Tell me, is it right to kill? We need to know what you believe. Old Barak wasn't just a doctor to us. He was a teacher. He knew how to live. You say you are his son, so you are to take his place and answer. Is murder acceptable? <clears> hmm. <throat> So there's no, killing's never right, only to protect a loved one, only in self-defense, or basically it's, it's fine to kill bad people, only in self-defense. So murder can be right sometimes. Who are you planning on killing, boy? It's not about me, but about us. My soul and halves always hang together. Answer the question. Take your time if you need to. You may very well be choosing your fate. Or choosing our fate, rather. So since I'm their new teacher, they're really going to listen to what I say, huh? Fine. 
Yes, sometimes killing is acceptable. Good. We now know the kind of man you are. Here ends the trial. You're free to go. So you know me, huh? That was quick. Guess I should talk to you if I'm ever confused. Maybe Khan and I should bury the hatchet? What? You have your revenge and so do we. We now know how to deal with Lika and that verdict can't be appealed. All you and I have in common now is that today will end soon. Go. Thanks for your help. Ah. So they're going to take revenge against Lika. Well, I mean, if they really did poison and kill three people, then... Yeah. Aren't they a kid, though? Wait a second. What did this Lika do, anyway? Lika poisoned our friends who were weak and defenseless. It's an open and shut case. You mean the dogs? We are soul and a halves. To us, they were not mere dogs, but friends. And we prefer them to people. I like these people. Not mere dogs, but friends, and we prefer them to people. Why do you... Uh, why do they call you soul and a halves? We each have a half, besides our own soul. See this gray cat here chasing his own tail? That's Jester. We're, all, we're always together. I see no cat, though. Of course you don't. He's my half. Jester will only show himself to you when I trust you. Really? Oh my god, I want to see this cat. Please trust me soon. I'd like to think that scratch on their faces from Jester. So about this Lika, why do you care? Man, this option is so patronizing. Listen kids, I'll handle this. <clears throat> I'm just looking for a good place to hide. Stay here then. This is a sanctuary. No grown-up would dare enter. So, would you like me to deal with your poisoner? Where did that come from? He's our problem, not yours. You've done your part. We'll do the rest. You'll put him on guard. I, however, can get the drop on him. I have no idea where this is going. What, what's my plan here? If they say, sure, you deal with them, what do I do with them? <laughs> Perhaps you could. And then what? I'll give him a spanking. <laughs> if he's as bad as you say, I'll drag him over here. You know what? Give him this leash. He'll understand what it means. Will you do this for us? When I first got here, I was given a, a bandage or tourniquet that used to be a leash. Sure. We have a deal. Murky says it's by the gumstone. Murky. Uh, where's that? The gumstone. Uh, step word from the basket. Aren't you supposed to know all this? Or do you step folk have different names for everything? I'm, I'm just assuming this is going to be marked on the map, otherwise I will never find this. Step word from the basket. Ah, yeah. The step people call it or Hilu. Hatred. See you around, pups. I'll Please. take you to your end, rend, tend, mend. Please tell me it's marked on the map. Yes. The soul and halves want to punish the culprit who poisoned their dogs, but I don't want them to do something they'll regret for the rest of their lives. Yes. Yes. Hmm. It's a bunch of stones there. Obviously arranged that way on purpose. It's like a symbol or something. Um, am I hated here? Closed at the moment. I don't think there's really anybody out here. And yeah, I don't think they're going to try to kill me, so I think I'm safe to go over there. 
and I'm probably never going to be closer to, to here than I am now, so might as well go right now. Let's go talk to everyone else first, though, of course. And try to find that cat. No, I can't see it. Dandy. Knives, scissors, blades, razors. Anything sharp. If you've got a sharp axe, I'm interested. Got a scalpel? Those items are what I barter for. We need them. What would you give me for sharp objects? Lock picking shivs. If you're handy with locks, you can open three or four doors with one. Brand new. And needles. Good for smaller locks. Like locker locks. So you trade needles for knives. Strange. Oh, so you aren't a local. We aren't allowed razors. If they catch us, we'll be grounded for a year. Might even get spanked. Nice try with the bullshit, but I'm not buying it. Razors aren't the only forbidden sharp objects. So where'd you get all those pins? Did you break into a tailor shop? Sure, a train full of needles derailed outside my window. Happy now. <laughs> Why do you care? We barter because we don't need pins anymore. We've outgrown them. Scissors for a needle is a good trade. Deal. Oh, they even have revolver ammo. Straight razor. Um, well, I'm certainly not selling the leash. It's part of a quest. Could you really... You could just sell it. What would that do to the quest? Oh, they'll take the fishing hooks. I think those are useless to me. I should buy a lockpick, definitely. It's only five for one. That's actually really cheap. Needles would be good, too. Let's get a lockpick, and how many needles do I have? Five. Well, I know I could use a lot. Like, I remember just going into the house with those two thugs that I was helping uh, with surgery. I remember there was a bunch of drawers to unlock there. Just in one house. Straight razor, then some fishing hooks. Can I get anything for two? No. Ooh, look at this. Relieves fear and pain, leaving you drowsy and numb. If I take this before sleep, I'll recuperate better. That sounds really valuable. It means you don't have to sleep as long, which means you have more time, and time is very important, as I've learned. <laughs> hmm. Well, it says I'll recuperate better. That could just mean you heal faster. It maybe doesn't necessarily mean you actually... Get, uh, remove exhaustion faster. Uh, but I can hope. Yeah, holy shit, these are amazing trades, actually. To get all that for four fishing hooks and a straight razor? Thank you. Oh, their name is Catnip. Thank you. Thank you for actually coming. You're so brave. Look, we all made a gift for you, to welcome you here. See? It's bread. Please don't frown, it's all we can spare. We need to eat too. There's a lot of mouths to feed here. Thank you. When I get my house back, come visit. I'll return the favor. Sorry it's so stale. And drink the milk fast, because it'll go bad soon. But the water is fresh from a ravine. Oh, I can tell him to keep it. God, I'm not going to do that, though, because I need it so bad. Not right, right, right now, but, like, tomorrow I'm sure I will. So you kids are all hungry, too. Well, yeah, we are on our own, after all. Mm. Maybe I should not accept it. I do have enough food for today. I've got the meat, and I think a couple other things. 
Okay. I can't accept this gift. But you're a guest. Take it. Or else we'll get bad luck. We need luck more than food right now. If I start taking food from half-starved urchins, I'll be the one with bad luck. Forget it. Hope they don't hate me now because I refused. Oh, they sell clothes. And needles. What are they like? Marble for four. Scrap name for three. Chalk for two. Scissors for four. I've got a lot of scissors. Okay, well, if I get rid of the stuff that I don't want... Like all the scissors, 16, some chalk. I can get shoes. Wait, does that mean I'm walking around barefoot right now? Is that what it means? Wait, if I'm not wearing shoes or gloves or... Huh. These other things are like extra things, right? It's not like there's a slot for a shirt. Or pants or something, so I guess I'm wearing those, but the fact that there's boots does suggest that I'm currently not wearing any shoes. Anyway. If we're doing dirty work, or worn and unimpressive for the shoes. Yeah, let's get the shoes. Could use a couple more needles. Could always use them. Um... Yeah, doesn't really divide evenly into the needles, though. I could still only buy one with two scrap names. I think the scrap names are more valuable somewhere else. Thank you for the trade. So, like, what does this actually do? I don't see my stats over here changing, like my immunity or anything. It's forbidden for herb brides to have footwear. It's believed they speak with earth through their rhythmic footsteps. Winter must get cold. Oh jeez, yeah. Yeah, so that's why they don't wear any shoes. Okay, that's interesting. And that one next to Laura, Laura Ravel's place was talking to me about listening to the earth. I have no idea what the hell it does, though. So how do I make the scalpel not rusty? Would sharpening it do that? Do I have any sharpening tools? I don't. No. Oh, look at the soft glow from that purple. What am I hearing? Did you hear that? It's gone now. It's coming back. There's locations in this town that just sound like they tap into somewhere else. Like on top of that spirally impossible structure in town. Over here. What time is it? Still just a little bit past noon. Okay. Yeah, we found so much really good stuff in such a small amount of time compared to before. It's ridiculous. I think next... We should go to Lika. Or should I go to Bad Grief right now? I'm kind of close. Hmm. Let's go to Lika first. Aw. Food bowl for the cats.
are these bags? It's like a transport system. Is it meat? It's going over to the abattoir. Maybe it's to transport meat to the trains for transport? Transport meat to the trains for transport. So many jumpies! Look at all these jumpies! Looks like a little Stonehenge over there. That must be the rocks on the map and where we're headed. Yeah. Oh, and I want to see if I can get any herbs, because I don't know what they look like exactly. Or how to harvest them, but I can sell them. Leeka. We're like there, there. We're like right at the center of the quest. Where is anybody? Hello? Step has a thousand eyes, is what it said. Hey, Leek, are you the one that gave me the tourniquet leash? No one else is here? When the cat's away, the mice will play. <laughs> Look at you, feeling better. But the town's not too welcoming, is it? Don't worry, the step is wide. It can hide anyone. What brings you here? I am feeling better. Thanks for helping me back there. You're welcome. I'd tell you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours, but I'm not the type to demand back scratching back. So what do you want? Need another wound dressed? <laughs> Did you- <laughs> A little mouse just popped up in this rock and then jumped out. I'm- I'm looking for the punk who poisoned the boy's dogs. Know where he is? Why do you ask? Tell me straight. Were you the one who poisoned the dogs? All lies. I'm a kind, good, I'm a good, kind soul. Explain yourself. The soul and halves are the real punks, and knockkin is the worst. And punks deserve to suffer, right? But you can't hurt them. They just wipe the blood away and keep going. So you need to hit them where it does hurt. Right in the heart. Make them see how it feels. So you did poison them. God, but you helped me. Oh, a couple more jumpy mice. Hmm. Give them the leash. That ends the conversation, though. The word hurts, huh? I think they were right. This world doesn't need people like you? I don't know if I want to say that, but I think that's the best one. No, no, spare me. We're friends. I helped you out, didn't I? You owe me. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Let me go. Maybe I could be useful to you. Hmm. They did help me, but they just killed three kids? Oh man, I don't want to do this. They did something absolutely horrible, but I can't be responsible for adding another child to the death toll list when I could stop it. <sighs> I get lost, as if I'd foul my, foul my hands with your blood. Wonderful. So off you go. By the way, if you need anyone to confirm that you only arrived this morning and couldn't have murdered anyone last night, just say the word. I'll run to Sabarov and testify. Hmm. That would be helpful, actually. Yes, that would be useful, actually. Wait for me by the town hall. Oh, I don't know what that's going to do with my relationship with the soul and a halves. The dog killer is the doghead who saw me at dawn. He will testify to my alibi. We'll meet by the town hall. I wonder what Notkin will think of this. Yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, um, let's go back to Notkin, hope they don't kill me, and then go talk to Bad Grief and then take the ferry to Laura Ravel's place. Right? I mean, <clears throat> they're going to testify over here to help me, but I don't think I would survive the journey from here to here, you know? So I think I need to go to Lara's place first. Right. Back to the kids and bad grief. What time is it? Almost 1 p.m. Man, I'm just thinking how much stuff I'm doing and how much further stuff there seems to be to do. On future days, I, I won't have the experience to know what's sort of going to happen that day and what I sort of should be doing. Well, let's go this way. So, it'll be kind of like this day, but I won't be at as much of an advantage. I think it's going to be hard to get everything done. Doing well today, but like these quests just keep unfolding into more and more things. a trolley. We'd ride it down the rails away from this place. Chester thinks you're a decent sort, and he's not the only one. So, behold, we solemnly grant you this leash. It means you're always welcome here, and that you may even get your own half one day. Not everyone does. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think I need to fess up first before you go giving me that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I let your poisoner go. You let him go? Ooh, the second option. If I am to replace my father, here ends your first lesson. What was the lesson, though? I... Hmm... Sure, here ends your first lesson. This changes nothing. Keep the leash, but for now, go. I need to think. You do that. It'll do you good. What a twist. I robbed the soul and a halves of their revenge, but somehow they're thankful for this. I don't know if they were thankful, just thoughtful. They still give me a leash, huh? Um, wait, did they gi give me a leash? Isn't this a leash they gave me to give to the other person? Huh. Let's do inventory Jenga. Okay, let's go talk to Bad Grief. both ways before crossing the railroad. Wait a sec. I can just enter here? Oh, it's a grocery store. This is the place. 
Yeah, I'm really curious how this conversation is going to go now that they didn't save my life. That doctor's quick on the draw. Already shot someone. So much for his oath. This is the same. Don't recognize this man. Too soft, swaddled, and coddled. Palace? Or no, I did good to see you too. Talking about how I killed some people. It was self-defense. Forget it. What's your plan? Do you know about my father's murder? I do. Do you know who murdered him? Nope. Sniffing the ground ourselves. You didn't think it was one of mine. Listen, we don't cut folks. We honor tradition. Although, there was one fella, Barley. He left our little community a month back and got himself a new one. Now, they do cut folks. But they wouldn't touch your old man. They aren't fools. It seems that there must be at least one fool in town. What's the plan, then? Revenge? Or something with a little more finesse? I'll find out who's behind this, then we'll see. Just stay away from Sabarov. I mean it, cub. The man's a hawk. All might makes right, no sense. He'll throw you in jail first and only think months later. I know your thick skull, too. You charge in there, shoulders squared, thinking, oh, the truth will win out. Bullshit. Stay away, you hear me? We've had this before, too, but I just felt like reading it. Mind your own skull, all right. Okay, what did that just add? Just the character? We can talk with him again. Us all over <clears throat> a barrel. Nothing to be done about it now. You run into the old crowd? Stock Reuben? Lara? Now I've been to Reuben's. He's not home. Gotta say, it's a tough time for a friendship. I mean, if you could even call his friendship. Growl-hearted Lara won't look at me now, and Stock's even worse. Completely ignored my plea for help. Mm, so this is where they're going to ask about helping their people uh, with with surgery. But it's not going to be something I owe them. You need help? Chaos. Man, men ran into a mob. They need to saw bones. Something tells me your men weren't out there feeding the poor. Hell if I know. Can't make heads or tails of them now. If you squint, piecework does kind of resemble you. A sturdy man. Perhaps he did take a few hits to the noggin in your stead. How do you feel about that? I could look at piecework. Where is he? Okay, the hideout. I'll use the scalpel you just had lying around then. Wonderful. You find anything his belly doesn't need? Don't talk. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, they do specifically ask for it back. I didn't even think about bringing it back. The thing we take out of their stomach? The bloody... Um, lockpick? What the hell was that sound? That was intense. Yeah, I got stabbed. Nothing more to talk about. Oh, yes. Do you think there's actually going to be a thing inside of it now? There it is. Do you think something was wrong with my first playthrough? Because remember, when I went to loot this, there was literally nothing in it. Also, I'm pretty sure I found nothing in Ruben's place. Not that I expect there to be anything, but here I found shit tons of stuff. How come now that I've restarted the game, I'm finding way more loot? Maybe it was a bug, or maybe it's random or something. I don't know. Anyway, another rusty scalpel. Bandage, coffee, a couple eggs money, some needles. I've got so much stuff. 
Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. I'm really, really glad that I restarted everything. I was worried about it, but it's the result has been so good. I've made so much more progress. I felt like if I continued with that one, I just would have been missing so much. And indeed I was. So hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to go down here to the ferryman, go up to Lara's place, sleep there for a little bit, not too long, because don't want to waste too much time. Just enough for people to not want to kill me so then I can go to the rest of the town.